now. You say 11 o'clock this 11 morning. 11 o'clock has Rain chances are going to be low. Now, there will likely be a lot of cloudiness out there this morning, uh, and this has nothing to do with the hurricane. It has everything to do with those storms we had last night. Now, Hurricane Barrel did make landfall. Let's give you an update. Uh, Rachel Coulter gave you uh, the latest on this last night that it had regained strength. It was a, a Category 1 hurricane when it made landfall, and that's with a uh, basically uh, about an 80 mile per hour wind. So there you can see where it is right now. It has come on shore, Matagorda, Texas, which is about 85 miles west southwest of uh, Galveston and Houston. So again, this is right on the Texas coast and moving northward now. So the official track on this will take it uh, through Texas during the day today. It's going to weaken rapidly, but the big story will be the rain. 10 to 15 inches of rain east Texas into west Louisiana. There will also be a risk for tornadoes here all the way up into uh, Arkansas. And then as it moves up into the mid Mississippi Valley midweek, again, weakening more and eventually this will just sort of meld in with the frontal system and won't have any more tropical characteristics whatsoever post uh, midweek here. Now here's where we are. It's kind of early in the season, but already we're talking about hurricanes that have been pretty strong. Barrel was quite a strong storm last week. Now it has weakened considerably. There shouldn't be much more happening in the next one to two days at least, though we'll see what happens later in the week. This is the time of the year we got to keep an eye on it. Temperatures are in the 70s right now, and again, you can see that low cloudiness out there. That will take some time to break up, but it will, and eventually we'll get back close to 90. It's not going to be nearly as hot as it was Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday. We were 93 yesterday. So there goes Barrel. Again, this won't have any real direct impact on our weather. It will go north of us, but there will be a surge of humidity coming back in tomorrow, and that's going to push the heat index up, and eventually that will help to prompt a little better thunderstorm chances. That's something we haven't seen too much of, certainly not last week, but that will be the case going on to this week. By the weekend, though, the thunderstorm chances pair back on Saturday, and at this point, I really don't even have much of a chance for rain on Sunday. We will monitor that situation. This time of the year, things can change. I did hoist a first alert for Tuesday. The reason for that is because I think that heat index is going to be close to 105 for several hours tomorrow. So keep in mind, the humidity level is coming back up. The temperatures are coming back up at least for Tuesday. Now, by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday will actually settle back on average to about 90 degrees is where we should be for this time of the year and should be close to that on Saturday, though by Sunday we're moving back up. Heat, humidity, heavy thunderstorms. Oh boy, this time of the year, even the tropics, we got to cover it all. And sometimes there's not enough time to do it during our newscasts and our weathercast. So we've got the first alert for you. Another version of it coming up tonight where we stream our, our platforms, all platforms, 9 o'clock tonight with meteorologist Lisa Vegas. Check in that on uh, first alert. That is our weather show coming up on all platforms.